Good morning, Sagittarians. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to your bonus read. Thank you for being a bonus read. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, the eyeballs, all of that, Sag. So this is an extended read. I I just appreciate you guys. I'm jumping around. Sorry. My brain has tarot ADD going on. I was going to say, grab your a favorite adult beverage and get comfortable because it is an extended read. But again, I want to say thank you. Happy early birthdays, by the way. I hope you guys are going to have the best birthday season yet. I have a feeling this birthday season is going to be very eye, eye awakening for you. Awakening, I guess. Eye opening is what I'm saying. I don't know what's going on with my brain. I'm getting a little worried. It's like, it's like uh, I'm, I'm, it's going in two different directions, but I think it is very, I, it's going to be eye opening for some of you. I don't know why, but I just felt the need to say that. I got a six of wands here in Tarot of the Abyss deck for the clarifier. And I got an ace of wands. Ace of wands is something new and beautiful, ready to begin. But it's also allowing yourself to dream and allowing yourself to believe you can have it because this ace of wands is coming out of a book. Not quite in the ground yet, but I feel like, you know what? Believing it is the first step to achieving it, right? So that's where I'm going with this. Let's see what's going on, Sag. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. If you are a Sag, know a Sag, feel like being a Sag. Sagis, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sag and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story. And Sagittarius can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Sag or for a Sag. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages for the Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the story that needs to come out today for Sagis? What is the story that needs to come out today for the Sagittarians? What is the story that needs to come out today? Star reverse. Right there. Boom. What's influencing the star reverse? What's influencing the star reverse? The Knight of Cups reverse. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? The Page of Cups reverse. Sagittarius. What's, what's in the past? What's in the past? The magician reverse. Are you kidding me? What is going on here? What's on your mind? I feel like this is somebody you're dealing with. What's on your mind? What is on the Sagittarian's mind? What is on the Sagi's mind? There it is. Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands reverse. You waited long enough. That's what I got. But the, there you are, Emperor. Ooh, that's a good card. Ooh, Six of Cups and the Emperor. Wow, wow, wow. That is a twist. Ten of Wands reverse. You drop in the burden. This is one person, I can tell you that. Death reverse, Seven of Pentacles. Feels like you waited long enough. I feel like somebody kept you in this zone long enough. Nine of Wands reverse is you letting it go. Just letting it go. Um, it, it's... I feel like something's been very painful. Something has been a long time coming. Ten of Cups reverse and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you don't want to put it off any longer. What's in the near future? I love the Emperor and the Six of Cups is making some big moves, some big decisions. Six of Cups on your mind is, it could be a soulmate. You want someone to share the rest of your life with, not take care of, you know? You want to be taken care of too sometimes. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? The Queen of Wands. And yes, you shall. Queen of Wands is really getting your groove back in a big, big way. This is a very desirable card. I, and I have a feeling this is you. You're the Knight of Wands. And I feel like you're elevating up to this sexy little beast right here. Queen of Wands. What is, how do you see yourself? How do you currently see yourself? I feel tired. How do you currently see yourself, Sag? Five of Swords reverse. You don't want to listen to it. You don't want excuses. And you see this guy, that's you. This person isn't you. This is the person who maybe hasn't given you love in 78 years. This is a person who always worries about themselves before you. And when they finally do something for you, it's kind of like there had to have been World War Five, you know, for that to even happen. So I feel like it's like you're you're tired of them taking pieces from you. Peace and peace and peace. See, it's in the, her hand. Five of Swords reverse is saying, I, I'm at a point where I want some peace. Page of Cups reverse is saying, you know, what am I doing? It feels like an eye opening of what am I doing? 
you know, maybe I'm reading for a Sag that's been asleep because it's been the easiest, easier way to do. And you're waking up to your life and what you really want and maybe who you want, even if you don't know this person. But I just, yeah, I feel like you're, there's a big change is coming. What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? What is the energy coming in the Sagittarians don't see coming? What is the energy coming in? I feel like you're not putting your, ooh, Stella got their groove back card. Five of Pentacles reversed, three of Cups is what it was. Everything else is collateral damage. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Don't get in Sag's way. World, you want this new beginning. Come hell or high water, you're taking it. Let me go fish out all these cards because I need it for the next two spots here. One second. Oh, the Queen of Cups is showing itself. The other two, three cards were face down. Queen of Cups. I really feel you are going to put yourself out there. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands. There you are. I really feel like it's time for you to fly. It is time for you to fly. Um, all right. I'm keeping that there, actually, right there. I'm running out of room here, Sag. All right. What are in Sagittarians? No, I'm going to keep that there. That's what's in your emotions. You're ready for love. Eight of Wands and a Queen of Cups, you're ready for love. I think that fell out. It's like your heart is on the floor. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you're with this energy and saying, I can't, I need, I don't want, I need to be fulfilled. I need to be noticed. I need, I, it's just like you've been running on empty for so long that you're ready to run away. And this is an energy that's just kind of like, well, I guess I'll give Sag some excuses to, and it'll buy me some time. I'm not seeing love here. I'll be honest, not even from that other energy that you might be holding on to hope for. Star reverse is a lack of hope. Knight of Cups reverse, Page of Cups reverse, Magician reverse. I feel like time and time and time again, this person has showed themselves to be who they truly are. And you are waking up to say, this is who you truly are. And the emperor is saying, no, I need something more than this. And you need probably therapy. So you got the emperor and the six of cups. And I feel like you are putting yourself on the place to finding what fulfills you. Is it something personal or is it new love? Is it a new job? Is it all of the above? Eight of wands. You're putting yourself, you're, you're getting yourself back here. What is the outcome here for Sagittarians? What is the outcome for Saggies? Higher fun. I love it. I love it. It is a new relationship. Happily ever after, Ten of Cups. You do get it, Three of Pentacles, but you can't have it attached to this. So if you guys are attached to a magician reverse type of energy and you've been delaying letting a magician reverse go, giving them the, the pink notice here in your life, I think the universe has been holding back your soulmate because it was you had to become the emperor in your own life. It's probably a major karmic lesson, honestly, of saying, you know what? I need to make room for this in my life. Because what are they going to do? Are you all going to share a bed or something? No, you don't want to share a bed with this magician reverse. Heck, you probably paid for the bed. I don't even know if they paid for anything. They probably don't make the bed. They probably, whatever. So anyway, three of pentacles, 10 of cups. Hierophant. You do have love. And I feel like this reading is confirmation that there is life after this. There is love after this. When, you know, it's just getting through this. And I don't even think this would be as difficult as maybe you think it will be. I think it's going to be more difficult for the person who's been clinging to you. All right. Because they always, either you're dealing with somebody that comes back and forth and back and forth. And then you're the one who gets hurt. I, you're shutting the door on it. What is the what is the star reverse here? Center of the reading for Sagittarians. What is the star reverse? Yep, Knight of Wands reverse. I just feel like somebody thinks they can play you. Why do I feel like this person thinks you're in the palm of their hand? They think they can play you. But that aside, Knight of Wands reverse is procrastination, procrastinating the inevitable. That's what it feels like. You got to let it go, probably. Ten of Cups reverse. See how she's holding down the hand? I think you're letting go. Something that's been a long time coming. My nose is itching. Knight of Cups reverse influencing, saying, you know what? I, I don't want to put this off any longer. You don't want to waste any more time on what it is you feel like you need in your life. 
Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords, you're moving on because you deserve love. You got an Empress. You got an Emperor right above it. Some love fest going on. True power couple. Emperor and Empress. But at its very definition and core, it just feels like you, honestly, some of you have been dealing with a person who's like a big baby. I hate to say it like that, but you know what I mean? They don't work or they don't take care of themselves and you're doing it all. And you want somebody who is a whole person. You don't want somebody who's a quarter of a person and they're expecting you to fulfill their every need. On your mind is somebody who knows what they want and who they want and who works or who has this and you don't have to, you don't have to take care of it. But your masculine and feminine energies are up. So that is a, it's emperor and empress. So that's pretty powerful. This is, I wouldn't argue with you at this time. I, I mean, when your mind is made up, there is no going back. The elevation process is crazy. You've been a knight of wands reverse. Who I'm reading for, this is definitely not for all Sagittarians. You could have been a knight of wands reverse in your own life. And you're putting that, that car into drive. You're going from the knight to the queen, to the king, to the emperor. Just like that just like that. So I feel like there's no more excuses you're taking today. Excuses were last Tuesday. Sorry. Go get another line. Page of Cups reverse. Reason for the reading. What is that about? Page of Cups reverse. And the tower. And it feels like this is a person who's kind of made your house like this. The house within yourself. Um, I mean, look at it. It's, it's, it, this is the vines are coming all over. It's, it, it, it's destructive is what this is. And the tower, I feel like suddenly it's, you are calling it. You're, you're just not taking excuses anymore. Magician reverse in the past and the three of swords. And it's, see this three of swords. It's not even about pain. This is about, you know, who this person is. Underneath it is a three of swords because you learn the hard way who this person is. King of Pentacles reverse. This is a person full of excuses. You know, it's like they, there are pockets full of excuses. And that's about all they have. Emperor, six of cups, ten of wands reverse, nine of wands reverse on your mind. And the queen of cups reverse. I, I feel like, why the queen of cups reverse? Yep, and the four of swords reverse. I, for some of you, I feel like you're dealing you're dealing with people who can't take care of themselves, or they think they can't. I feel like this is in your reading a lot. Queen of Cups reverse can be somebody who suffers from anxiety. Four of swords reverse is a card of anxiety and stress, and it just feels like you're dealing with somebody who's an emperor reverse, magician reverse. You know, they think they are. That's the thing. I don't think they are. I think they think they are. And because they think they are, they get away from having to they get away from having to help you out here. And I, yeah, Queen of Cups reverse, Four of Swords reverse. It's like, it, it just seems to fall on you. What is this Queen of Wands in the near future? I like that. This is, this is like heavy. I, I want to leave this. Queen of Wands in the near future. And the awakening reverse. What did I say? It's like you're awakening to you, who you really are. And it's interesting because this is the judgment and it is a judgment reverse. You can look at it that way. But I feel like, actually give me one more card. There's a lover's reverse and the five of cups reverse. This could be the other energy I'm trying to hold on to you. Judgment reverse and the queen of wands. Judgment reverse and the queen of wands. Yep, in the two of wands. You know, it's this guy. He looks like he hasn't washed his hair in about eight weeks. Sagittarius, 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 where are you going? I feel like this person's so afraid of losing you and they should be afraid of losing you. High Priestess and the Page of Swords, you know what is meant for you is not here. Page of Swords and the High Priestess, I feel like it's now your soul taking over. This two of wands is, I feel... I don't feel like it's you making a decision. I feel like this person's hoping that you're going to come back. Near future, I think you're, I think you're, that's it. It's they're leaving or you're leaving. Five of swords reverse. How you see yourself. Five of swords reverse. Yep. And the devil. 
do you notice in the devil card in this deck there's no lovers you know it's a dehydrated heart and i feel like somebody with this knight of cups reverse it's like you you haven't had the nourishment spiritually from this person or emotionally for so long that you are realizing that you can't survive like this anymore you know you this has been survival mode i f do feel like you're going from survival mode to thriving here and with the world it feels like the the seeds of the, i hate the word seeds too but i feel like the empress energy is starting to grow within you and it doesn't mean not all of you are, are going to have a baby here but i feel like something is starting to really grow within you and once it does there's no stopping this energy you are getting the peak into your future and I, I think you like how it looks the queen of wands the king of wands the emperor the ten of cups that there's no way this is going to pull you back anymore so the devil energy i feel like it's this person bound hoping in a, that you're going to come back i also feel like like the judgment reverse here and if you notice the awakening it's you're having a hard time flying away from this person because maybe you feel bad or whatever like that and i feel like it's their manipulation that's keeping your wings you've earned your wings this karmic lesson is done you know what i mean it's done and some of you are allowing don't allow their manipulation to pull you back in here the world three of cups and the five of pentacles reverse the world the five of pentacles reverse and the three of cups coming in in this three of cups reverse this whole line it's like it's like an entity sagittarius I, it's exhausting me it's, it is I, you know what i feel like this gosh 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 this is an energy that i i, I can't believe i'm saying this I feel like they're going to negotiate because I see the three of wands here and the three of cups re reverse here. I feel like this is an energy that's just saying, okay, well, you do you. Um, you just go ahead and keep taking care of me, but you can go ahead and do you over there. You know what I mean? Like an open relationship or separation or something. I can't believe I even said that, but that's what it feels like. This is a person that's going to try to negotiate your happiness once again, but and your emotions is the eight of wands and the queen of cups what is that about queen of cups and the eight of wands and your emotions queen of, okay we went flying again six of pentacles and the nine of swords reverse i don't feel like your soulmate if this is a soulmate read for you if this is a job read i don't feel like it's very far away i feel like it's always been around you it's just needed you to make room for this six of pentacles and the nine of swords reverse you got happily ever after here but you do have a 10 of pentacles reverse. You got to let go of the hand you've been holding for so long. It is seven. Of, let me get the card on the ground. I think it's seven. Yeah, I think it's a seven of pentacles reverse. It is. You don't want to waste any more time. Seven of pentacles is you've been the one making the bread for somebody else to always eat it up. And then maybe having you clean it up on top of that. Seven of pentacles reverse. You don't want to waste any more time. You feel like you've done enough. I think you have done enough. All right, Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Hierophant outcome. I don't know. I'll be honest. These readings sound like it's like this, okay? Tarot has a way. Each and everybody, it's going to be different. I really feel like the biggest thing right now is making space for this. It does feel like it's here. The whole reading feels like you have something new solidly here, a job here, love here. Hierophant, Ten of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. But you just had to realize that you deserve it. You had to wake into it. Five of Wands reverse. Had to give up the fight here of what you've been in. C coming out of this abyss, right? What is the Hierophant and the outcome for Sagittarius? And the Death card. That's pretty powerful. A big, big transition happening. Hanged One reverse, Hangman reverse, and the Chariot reverse. I feel like somebody's free ride is over. What is this Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles and the outcome? The Magician reverse. I don't and the three of wands it's interesting because the three of wands what it, oh gosh that's pretty powerful actually and this is aries queen of wands it feels like maybe who knows by aries season you're going to really see some big big changes in your life but what did i say i feel like this opportunity is right around you but you had to make room look how close the ship is to his harbor but he had to be able to get there to see it i feel like you've been in this tower 
you've been in this this place for so long that you haven't had time to go to the harbor to see you can board something else you can take a different path i feel like you finally got out of this and you're starting to go over to here that's what i feel there's a big transition um look at that hermit and the knight of cups you got the wise one which is the hierophant you have this beautiful new life here but you had to realize you do deserve it there's a point where your loyalty becomes the safety net to hold you back it's so you're somebody else's safety net and it's been holding you back and it's just can't i feel like you're you're snip 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 snipping those uh strings so you can finally fly away right here i feel like that's like the bottom of the well and you're ready to fly all the way out and up all right my beautiful saggies have a great rest of your weekend and a good start to your week and i'll see you kids later take care